off. The package is a bomb. She was killed with a knitting needle in the ear. Now mine is interesting. It's Rocky the dog. Oh, <laughs> all right. Now, Yeah, yeah. At Hilltop. <laughs> but see, this is what happens. This is why writers stay in the shower for like about 35 minutes. <laughs> you get an idea and you don't dare stop because it's just flowing. It's flowing. Man, this is getting complicated here. <laughs> this is just a little... <laughs> like, this is terrible. What am I doing? I should get another job. I have to <laughs> There's this character in the neighborhood named Roger Daltrey, and he hates this name because he's got to go around all the time. People go, who? <laughs> Shut up. You throw everything against the wall, and you see what sticks and what doesn't. Yeah. And sometimes you just have to toss whole lines out. Julia Jones. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things you, you <laughs> try not to do, don't go for the easy thing all the time. Don't go for the cliche. Don't go for the obvious victim. Don't go for the easy thing. Yeah. Mix it up a little bit. <laughs> now I'm thinking Disney World and Jack and Josie, they're usually in Mickey Mouse costumes, but in the evening they take them off in their gangs. Donald Duck's in the Mickey Mouse costume. One thing about first person, is that you really buy into that person. If you if you decide on multiple, then you gotta make sure that you don't lose the reader, both emotionally and with the actual book. Once in a while it's really fun when you make something up as a, as a placeholder before you do the research, and you do the research and you find that's exactly the way you wrote it. Yes. Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you're, when you're by yourself, it's so easy to have self-doubt and say, oh, that, oh, that sucks. Yeah, <laughs> that's cliche. Yeah. Or you get the whole pile, like you said before, and you're like, oh, what was I thinking of? Yeah. 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 But <laughs> wow. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> You set them aside, but you don't throw anything away because you might be able to use something from them. Right. Oh yes, and Rocky the dog. They were, I'm researching spies in World War II, but one of the ways to kill someone is to shove a pencil in their ear. Why do you kill that way anyway? Well, they're talking about the cuisine that they held out. I was like, this ain't no Julia Child meal, I'll tell you that. So. Rocky the dog at Disneyland. Come on, <laughs> what could possibly be going on there? Thank you, Thank you all. Thank you for having us.